any country that have the enrichment capability or capacity, Charlie, is able to do nuclear weapons, to manufacture nuclear weapons in a matter of months. And that is really why I have been saying that if you really want a system that is, you know, provide genuine security, no country should have the right to enrich on its own or have plutonium in its own. In other words, the material you have, you can use for nuclear weapons, but have that under multinational control. Right. Uh, that's the only way because, all right, I mean, now Brazil is a country nobody is questioning. Japan is a country nobody is questioning. And many, G Germany is a country. The, the, those are three countries that have the uh, possibility. Uh, well, and, and Holland and, the knowledge uh, and, and Argentina. That's, you know, How the, many are there that within months could have nuclear weapons well, if they wanted to? You have the nine weapon states which already have nuclear right. weapons, but you have a number of others. You have Argentina, you have Brazil, you have Japan, you have Germ uh, Germany, you have Holland. I mean, they, and you have they now, all could be, have nuclear weapons within months. They, they have, have the, the capacity. They have the, the capacity. capacity. They have the enriched material. Right. And they have the know-how. Right. Exactly. And that is that is as I said, it's 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 a margin of of, of security too close for comfort. Right. And uh, Iran brought that issue to the surface. You know, can we live under that system of security that you go all the way and mm -hmm. then you say, you know, I'm not developing a nuclear weapon, which is fine. But if your security perception changes in the next couple of months, you know, you are yeah, able right. to, you know, so. The system is very fragile, and uh, if we really we need to deal with Iran because, of course, there is a lot of question about its future intention. But future intention applies to every country. It's a question of how much I trust the country, you know, and that's it. It really in the eyes of the beholder. It it based on you know regime behavior also. But the best is is not to rely on just future intention reading you know uh, reading the card but that, that is is to not to enable any country to have the technology that can enable them to have nuclear weapon in a matter of months that's to me is a long-term solution that's so the long-term solution you would take it away from japan you take it away from, from argentina everybody. you take it away from holland you take it away from germany from, from all of them and i take it away from all the weapon states As if barack obama now talking about a world free from nuclear weapons i mean that should be an integral part of this new structure which everybody talks about a world free from nuclear weapon you if you are going to do that as then the whole multinational it, you have to multinationalize the entire fuel cycle no country should have the right to do enrichment or reprocessing it will be all under multinational control regional control what you call it to iran for a second yeah, sure. the fear is that while they talk and they they find reasons to delay and delay they're getting closer and closer to the point they want to be mm -hmm. so they're exactly where germany is or japan is not and once they get there sure. they can say aha too late Folks. Sure, I, it's they are not there in terms of the capacity, you know. Right. But they, of course, in the last few years, developed the, a, a semi-industrial capacity, if I, I should say, right now, and, and that's why the earlier we engage in dialogue, we could have done, we could have stopped, you know, that program six years ago when Iran was ready to to stop at the research and development phase, you know. But at that time, nobody wanted to talk to them because they were part of the axis of evil, right. you know. And later on, they, they, they put an impossible condition to accept, for Iran to accept, saying suspend everything before we, we, before we negotiate. Well, that's the whole purpose of, of negotiation. The outcome should be So you maybe, think we really missed an opportunity? Uh, we mismanaged six years of, of, of dealing with Iran. And uh, right now, you know, I Iran at, uh, six years ago had a... But it always takes two to tango, as they yeah, say. But, but I, I must say, as I say, in fairness, at least to Iran, I mean, they have always said we, we are ready to negotiate. We are ready to talk. Uh, whether they were serious or not, but at least they made the offer verbally through the Swiss, through myself. I mean, a number of times, always said we are ready to discuss everything. There was no, there was yeah. no other side. Yeah, uh, but, other as, as, but as you know, somebody will always say, but it had a secret facility. We didn't know about the secret facility. Why wouldn't they? I mean, if they want to talk, why don't they disclose? Well, that's also again. Uh, and if they have one secret facility, why do we? Why don't they have? Why don't we assume they have seven? Charlie, it's, it's again symptomatic of the environment of total distrust. The answer I get, and of course they are on the wrong side of the law, they have violated our regulations, they should have told us from the day they decided to build that facility. But their answer is, when I hear every day that I'm going to be bombed, you know, what I'm going to do, I have to build a bunker to protect my technology. Whether that is true or not, but that is, you know, at least they have the pretext to say that. And, I wish people stop saying we are going to use force because it provides pretext. I hope Iran, of course, should but have... Nobody said they're going to bomb them. They've just said there's an option on the table. Well, they? but, <laughs> I yeah. mean, an option on the table, yeah. if you say there is every option all the time, I mean, it's yeah. implicitly... And, and there was a lot of discussion that the Israelis, you know, there is a deadline timeline. And uh, 
It is not good because the solution is not a military. There is no military solution. You know, it would it could only delay the Iranian program. In fact, if there is Iran were to be bombed, and even if if Iran were not really going for a nuclear weapon, I bet everything they will go for a crash course to develop nuclear weapon if they were bombed. Yeah.